whatever I told you to your will. So there are so many names, not only these, there are so many names, but I'm just bringing out the major one that uh, we will comprehend. So I was also thinking like the name, the name of God. There are so many names. So I was thinking that in this world that we are living in, there are two types of that. There are two types of names that we bear. One is the name that people call you according to what you are. Do you understand? There is one name that people call you according to what you are. And then there is one name that you have been using officially and that name is given by your parents or your grandparents and you bear that name until your death. So there is, there are two types of name that we are bearing. For example, let us say for our understanding, for example, the name which people call you according to what you are. For example, there is a guy who is a very brilliant, who is a brilliant student in the school. Uh, a very brilliant. He was so brilliant that his friend, most of his friends called him, hey Google, Google. Hmm. Because he was brilliant and his knowledge was also very vast, very wide. Isn't it? So they called him Google, Google. But actually, his name was not a Google, they call him according to what he is. Can you understand? Our pastor, Mashraya, some of, some of the people call him, Hey, pastor, pastor, how are you? But pastor is he, he, not his name. Pastor is what he is. Huh. It's not his name. I have one friend. I have one friend in Manipur. With that friend, we used to call each other as Dul. <laughs> In Mizzou language, Dul means having a big belly. Like me, of course. I don't have to hide, I can't hide also. <laughs> Isn't it? Uh, uh, even he, even he also has a big belly, and then I also have a big belly. So, one, we used to call one another do, do, do. Belly, belly, belly. <laughs> but actually, that is not our name. We call each other, we call to each other according to what we are. Can we understand now? According to what we are. So, uh, even for the names of God, God was so powerful. God was so powerful and He was so great that the Israelite people used to call Him according to what He is. Praise the Lord. Amen. They don't want to call the name of the Lord Yahweh because they are afraid that they will misspell the name of the Lord because He was, because God is so great, so powerful. So they are afraid that they will misspell or they will miss. I mean, they will mistakenly call the name of the Lord. So instead, they call him according to what he is. That is why they call him Elohim. Why? Because God is great. Praise the Lord. Amen. Elohim is a plural form, but not like one or two. In, in Hebrew language, every, in every great thing, they have a plural form. Samayim is called heaven because heaven is so great and so big and so wide. So they call it Samayim. Why I am him is the plural form as English in S, isn't it? So they call God Elohim because God is so great. So Adonai, Adonai means in English it is called my Lord. So Jehovah Rapha. Jehovah Rapha means God my healer. So God was a healer for the Israelite people. So they call him again. They call him again Jehovah Rapha. 
Jehovah Sama, the Lord is there. Jehovah Nisi, the Lord is my banner. Jehovah Jireh, the Lord shall provide. Praise the Lord. So all these names are not the official name that in our language, in our worldly language. These names are not the official names, I should say. All these names were the names called by the Israelites to their God according to what He is. Praise the Lord. Amen. I hope that we understand. But, see, in Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6 also, it says that, For unto us a child is given, unto us a son is born, his name shall be called Wonderful, Counselor, Mighty God, Everlasting Father, and Prince of Peace. So, these names are all according to what our Lord Jesus will be. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. So, these all these things, there are still so many names that the Israelites are being called into their God. But all these names are not <clears throat> the officials or the current names. All these names are the names that the Israelites people are calling to their God according to what He is. But one day His name shall come out according to Zechariah chapter 14, verse 9. And on that day, the Lord will be will be one and his name shall be one. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. There will not be so many names anymore. There will be no Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, no more Jehovah Zaire, no more Jehovah Sama. His name will be one. So what is his name? In Matthew chapter 1 verse 21 you will bring forth a son and you will call him Jesus. Praise the Lord. Amen. You will bring forth a son and you will call him Jesus. You will call him Emmanuel. Huh. Emmanuel means God with us. Praise the Lord. Amen. Jesus means Jehovah is Savior. See all the Jehovah. All the names that we have just read out was there in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. So we don't have to call anymore Jehovah Rapha, Jehovah Nisi, Jehovah Sama, because in Jesus Christ, in, because in the name of Jesus Christ, everything was there already. Praise the Lord. Because Jesus Christ is the healer, He is the provider, He is the sustainer of our life, He is the one who heals us, and He is the one who saves us. We don't have to call Jehovah Rapha anymore. God is our healer. No anymore. We just have to call the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Praise Amen. the Lord. Because on that day, in that day, His name will be one. And that name is Jesus Christ. I hope that we understand it. Isn't it? There are two types of name. One is the one people call us according to what we are. And the other one is the official name that we have that we are going to bear through our life. And it is in the name of Jesus that we are being saved and we are being healed tonight. In Acts chapter 4 verse 12 says that nor is there any salvation in, our, in any other in any other name under heaven among men by which we must be saved. It is only the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. And in Colossians chapter 3 verse 17, in, in works or in deeds, you must do everything in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Not in the name of Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Father, Son, and Holy Spirit is not a name. It's a title only. Hey little boy, what is your father's name? My father's name is Father. It's crazy, right? Isn't it? Hey bro, what's your son's name? My son's name is Son. <laughs> That's crazy. 
Very insane. Because Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit is not a name. You must baptize them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. In English grammar, you all are very good in English grammar more than me. But one thing I know about English grammar is that English article the, 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 or the, what we pronounce. We never put this article in front of a name. Nobody say the Torem. Isn't it? Nobody say the coercer. Nobody say the Digim. Because the English article EAC does became only in front of a title. Digim the Great. <laughs> Torem, the guitarist, ah, the soloist. See, when it's, be, when it's become before a title, it is correct. Likewise, when Jesus talked about that baptism in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, the, 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 there is one name, this you are speaking about, there is one name, and this was understood by his a disciple, there is why Peter ordered Peter ordered people on the day of Pentecost to be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ. Praise the Lord. Amen. Because Father, Son, and Holy Spirit are not a name. According to Exodus 4, verse 12, there is no other name that we can be saved. We can be saved through the name of Jesus Christ only. We can be healed through the name of Jesus only. We can be conformed through the name of Jesus only. We can receive the Holy Spirit through the name of Jesus only. Not any other name. Praise the Lord. Amen. That is why let us make Jesus Christ a priority in our life. Let us prioritize Jesus Christ in our life. When you first get up in the morning, what did you do? Some people pray, Lord Jesus, thank you for guiding us through the night. This day, youngster, what did they do? When Jesus got up from the bed, without uh, closing their eyes, they're searching their fallen people. No one thank you to Jesus anymore. When they just wake up from their sleep, where's my phone? Without opening this, good morning in the status and sleeping again. As if they they get up so early. Right, brethren, let us prioritize in our life. Let us prioritize Jesus Christ in our life. Let Jesus be the first in your life. Praise the Lord. There is, there will be only one name, and the only one name true human being can be saved is the name of Jesus. There is a miracle in the name of Jesus. There is healing in the name of Jesus. There is power in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. There, there, there is still, there, we can be saved in the name of Jesus only. So let us prioritize the name of Jesus Christ in our life. If you are holding, uh, if you have a communal feeling in the church, then you are holding back God's power. If you have a communal feeling in the church, then God's power, Jesus' power, cannot be uh, used in the church. Let us not have a communal feeling in the church. Let us not say you are classy. Let us not say you are miso. Let us not say you are a Samis. Because in heaven there will be no more Kasi, there will be no more Mizo, there will be no more Naga. We all going to bear the name of Jesus. Amen. So it is no use to say you are Kasi, you are Mizo, you are Asamis, you are Manipurit, you are Naga. We cannot worship together. No, don't say like that. Don't have communal feeling in the church. You must throw it away. If 
you have communion of spirit in the church, that means that you are holding back God's power. So my opinion tonight, let us not have communion of spirit in the church because in heaven, the angels will not say, eh, has you people decide? There is so much Bekanda, eh, Mizo people decide. There is so much Zosia, eh, Manipuri people decide. There is so much Matu, eh, Samis people decide. They will not say anymore. They will look who bear the name of the Lord Jesus. Praise the Lord, hallelujah. So, instead of having a communal feeling, let us try to bear the name of Jesus. Let us try to bear the name of Jesus, baptizing in the name of Jesus Christ and receiving the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. Amen. If you are only baptized in the name of Jesus, you have to receive the Holy Spirit. If you are receiving the Holy Spirit, you have to be baptized in the name of Jesus. May God bless us all. Thank you so much.